everyone, happy new year. It is uh, January 1st and I have had a long drive this morning to start my day on a Dungeness, or at, at Dungeness, on the beach here. Uh, it's somewhere I've always wanted to come for a long while. Always see pictures of it and it looks like an amazing place for pinhole photography. So I'm kind of just having a wander around, see what I can find. It's a bit windy, but it's nice. The sun's just been up for a little while. Got some good uh, clouds in the sky today, so it should hopefully be quite a nice morning. So, can have a good, good wander of the area. It's absolutely massive, so I'm uh, just trying to figure out where everything is and uh, what to shoot, and then uh, work my way back. So, anyway, we'll see what we can find and uh, hopefully get some nice shots to start the year off. I think this is about as far as I can get here. There's not a lot out that way. Um, so this is probably the last rotten old boat. Not only are there a load of rotten boats along here, there's a few fishing boats which are beach launched. So I'll try and maybe get a few of them as well. It should be quite nice. So I'm gonna try and figure out a composition with this one. Um, try and work something out. Okay, so first shot set up, uh, I'm using my Ondo 4x5 rise. <clears throat> I've got some Foma Pan 100 in there, and I'm going for the back end of this boat here. It's got the nice curve here, all the sides spilling out over there, looks quite nice. So I've got about a 45 second exposure on this. There's been a shot I've uh, wanted down here and seen, which is of the old uh, railway tracks with a boat that sits there. Unfortunately, that boat has now been burnt out, so I'm not going to get that shot. But um, I might be able to get something here. I'll have a little check. If not, I'll go on to the next one. I tried a few compositions on that, but nothing really seemed to sit right for me, so I didn't really want to waste the film. So, I'm gonna have another little plod around, see, uh, see what else is about.
Okay, so I've got my next shot set up of this old abandoned hut. I've kind of had to go from this angle because of the bright sun now. I didn't want my shadow in it over there. Plus I'm in the shade over there. So I've set it up, I've put a red filter on. This is uh, Ondu's nice little magnetic filter, which I've had to modify to fit the P-series filters because I had stacks of them. And it's quite, I did buy a couple of the A-series, which they're designed for, but they always kept turning up a bit scratched and secondhand and horrible, really. So, so that's going to give me a six and a half minute exposure. So then hopefully that should darken out the sky a little bit and be a bit more contrasty. So. Dumped some stuff in the foreground as well for a bit of interest. Right, so for this shot I've got set up, I've put the camera upside down, so I'm going to use the lower pinhole, which will get me a lot more foreground. Um, I'm hoping to get most of the boat in it, probably not the back end. Um, I think I've got about a 12 second exposure on this. So, with this, hopefully with the rope kind of leading up into it. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a blur, because the wind's hitting it quite a bit. But We'll shoot, we'll see, hope for the best. Right, so I've got my next shot set up, camera there, boat there, about 15 second exposure. Um, one of the slightly rotten, but not quite so much as bad as the other boats, so. set up four second exposure trying to get a nice bit of detail on this hook here and up onto the boat just trying to avoid the sun a little bit so I'm standing there shadow it off a little bit over here and hopefully that won't appear in the photo So that shot I used my tilt flex tilt head 
which is a brilliant, brilliant little uh, tripod head. It's enabled to get the camera really, really low to the ground. Um, so I'm hoping that one comes out right. I've done something similar with my 045 on the super wide, and um, I'm kind of hoping I'll get something similar, if not better, with this. So. I didn't want to do too much uh, talking back there. There's a few other people about, and uh, I ain't talking in front of people with a camera. <laughs> I'm not that brave yet. Anyway, I'm probably going to aim for one more, because uh, in that will be hopefully six photos. I've still got a few extra shoots to film, but my um, developing tank takes six, and. Um, I've got to obviously get quite a few more to justify doing another load in there instead of wasting chemicals. So anyway, we'll see what we can find. There's a nice lighthouse over here, which I really don't want to get a picture of, which I really want to get a picture of. Uh, just got to find where I park the car first. This is absolutely amazing, I love it. Um, loads and loads of old stuff over here, I could spend all day here I reckon. So, But I'll definitely be coming back sometime. Definitely. People aren't the friendliest. I've said good morning to a couple of people and they all just thank like you. So, really must all be hung over from last night. Anyway, head over the lighthouse, see if we can get something over there. Anyway, that's my last photo. Um, hopefully it came out okay. I was in the middle of a road, so I wanted to be a bit careful. So it was kind of a quick setup, 12 second exposure. I used the higher rise pinhole to hopefully get the whole lighthouse in and just a little bit of the foreground with the, uh, hopefully the speed limit number 20. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I've had a fantastic start to the year. So hopefully all the photos have come out fine. Um, I might develop them and think I've had an awful start to the year, but that's the joys of uh, pinhole and film photography. Um, so if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you join me next time, subscribe, all the rest of it, and um, yeah, let's see where 2020 takes us. Not 2020, 2022. It's a mouthful. Anyway, see you next time, folks, and uh, thanks for watching.